Good evening everyone, welcome to another video from me uh, on my channel. Um, musical one today, got the trombone out, so um, thank you for persevering with me while I've been doing bike bits and other things. Um, still in the same clothes as I've, as I've done my bike bits in, um, come from work, uh, things like that. Uh, I thought I'd make the most of my rehearsal night tonight uh, before we start, and I'll put a bit of a practice, because I don't practice at the moment, which is unfortunate. Um, so I'm going to go straight into a piece of music, which... It's called Orbed, 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 I have no idea. Um, so yeah, that's up by Philip Spark. It's a euphonium piece, not too technical. So I'm just gonna be practicing basically, so hopefully you stick around and watch. Um, if you've got any comments, you're more than welcome to put them down. Um, I haven't really warmed up much to be fair. So let's get stuck in and have some fun. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll pull my tuning sides out before I do anything because that's always going to help. Okay, so yeah, I haven't warmed up there, and I must admit, I, I, I have seen this piece before, but clearly my sight reading is not great because I wasn't really prepared for the octave jumps, the top C's, dynamics, things like that. I know, I know in theory you should be focusing on the uh, musical bits first rather than the notes, dynamics, the tempos, and things like that. But I, I, I'm kind of, I'd rather get notes in first then put feeling into it afterwards so for example from letter a into b it's fairly smooth it's mainly fifth jumps uh c to g uh, a couple of uh, it, there's really not all good intervals but there are a couple in there so there's one passage in bar um i think it's four before b it goes <laughs> So in that passage there, you can there's lots of jumping around there, and obviously uh, I'm not trying to teach people how to play, obviously, but you need to kind of like get those notes solid. And also every two quavers, it's basically um a slur over so da 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 So every kind of beat is a slurred note. So try and tongue the second the, like for instance I've got a C to B which is slurred. Or tied, whatever you call it, and then a, a C to a top A again, which is slurred. So you've got da 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 da. So that's that bit anyway. So C is a bit more tricky because it's a bit more animated, but it's also in four flats. <laughs> Yeah, so already I screwed up on the key signature. I think my issue is because I'm, I'm probably trying a bit too hard here, and I know that. But it's still practice at the end of the day, so it's all good fun. For instance, in this bar here, in the second bar or second measure of this bit, there's a D natural. And then there's another D natural in the bar afterwards. It's kind of like a theme, then it goes back to D flat again. 
So because I'm in thinking there's a D natural, I'm thinking everything else is natural as well. <laughs> So again, my, I know my tuning's not great, and there's one thing I need to worry about. Um, I think if I just did this at home without the camera on, not making excuses, probably a bit more, a bit more, you know, interesting. But uh, tell you what, I do a bit of fun now. I want to go back into something a bit more live now. Don't know why, and I've only got one. I've oh, got two pages. Uh, little Cornet Solo, and it's really old because it's all yellow. Probably blends them in the wall behind me. To be fair, maybe I don't know. So yeah, um, Cornet Solo, the happy song. Again, it's it's not really a trom it's not really a trombone piece. It's, you can play a trombone. Yeah, it's had a bit of fun with this. Um, not still there, very kind of piece. So a lovely cadenza to start off with. Which I can't even get right. Sorry if I'm moving forward, by the way, but it is really tiny writing. Like, you can tell this video's on plan, can't you? Right. That was awful. Oh my god, what's that? Eh, okay, it's alright. It's you know there's a crease on the page. Not making excuses, but I can't really read it. I can't complain now. So as a prime example there, that little run down there, it's in a sequence. And if you look at your music, it's just, it should be straightforward all the way through. Yeah, but I, I'm reading it too hard, and I know that, and I hate it. But I'm practicing, so it's all good. That's my excuse anyway. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, not to, <laughs> not, I'm not promoted by them at all, but this MB5ET, my mouthpiece, there you go, seems to pump out low notes probably better than the bass on my mouthpiece does, so, okay. So that was the intro, not very good, as you can tell. So let's do a bit of B, which is a bit more of the, well, the happy song part, and I bet you might be happy when I play it. Whatever that's meant to be. B flat major arpeggio, it's really, uh, yeah. 
More. I need to practice in general. But practicing now is all good. It's a simple scale. That's all it is. Not hard, is it? But I can't play it. Anyway, try again. I'll take that, it's close enough. Anyway, I want to stop it there. It's been 15 minutes or so this video. Edit it down to about 10. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.